take it away. All right, okay. Okay, well, before we hear them talk, um, we have lots of exciting things going on that I want to make sure everybody is aware of. There's one week left in April. Are y'all aware of this? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, you guys know the biocellulose mask is on sale. That thing is awesome. This is the time to stock up, you guys, uh, because basically you're going to make more than 50% when you sell them. And this is a luxury product. It's Epinom products. I know we've talked about it a lot over the last few weeks, but this is the, the time to stock up. Um, and then I'm sure you guys all know, um, I know I posted today that they're, they're making, they're, they're of course having the new transition of the new Miracle set, right? And if you guys at all are interested in um, stocking up in the old Miracle set, I would do it ASAP because they have stopped production on the Miracle set, the current Miracle set. So once they're out, they're out. So we don't know. It may not even last till May whatever 12th that they're supposed to launch it. So just FYI, if you guys are at all, if you love the current Miracle set, I am stocking up for my current, my current customers who love it. You know what I mean? To have both in the transition, okay? So this is the probably, I would, I mean, nobody knows when it runs out, it runs out. But I would say by the end of the month um, is going to be the last time you can be guaranteed to at least hopefully get the Miracle set, okay? Um, and then we know the new Timewise 3D launch is coming out next month and it's going to be amazing. This is literally like game changer in our business. And I'm sure they're going to tell you what secrets they learned about it too. Um, but you guys can earn it early. Okay. You guys all know you can all earn it early because I don't want you waiting to order until the 12th. That's crazy. I don't want you selling and making money now and you can earn the new, the new stuff. Um, you can earn it by your sales and by team building, right? This is the last week to do it. You guys all know how, right? You earn it from 250, 400, 600, all the way up to 1,000 wholesale. Anyone who orders 600 gets to try it first. You get to come to Inner Circle and get to try it on your faces before everybody else. Who wants to try it before everybody else? Okay, before it's even available. So you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna earn your bracelet. Hit your hit order 600 wholesale. Hit that um, by the end of the month so that you can join us for Inner Circle, okay? So it's gonna be the first Sunday of the month um, at four o'clock, and then I'm gonna have a special leadership training before with all of our future area. We join together the directors and the reds and above before at two, um, at 2 p.m. for some special leadership training for those people that really wanna move up, move up. And of course, you can earn the mini miracle set when you get into your red or new team leader or into our car driver, you get the new the mini, and then you get a full size when you go into our, your car this month. So who's gonna go into our, their car this month? Anybody can, seriously, anybody can. There's plenty of time um, that it's about, if you need a game plan, let's talk, it's about just sharing with enough people. Did you guys see that I'm doing a special little promo um, that if you share with five people between now and the 26th, the 26th is the day that we can order it, um, you get a new package of the catalog. Back to the new catalogs before, so I'll be able to order them then so we get the catalogs before you guys can even order them. Um, you have to share with five people. All they have to do is just watch some info about Mary Kay, either my video or the peek into pink um, that I did last night. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, we are really wanting to get guests because our guest count has gone down. And so um, next month, next week as well, even if you just have one guest, I will give you a prize, okay? <laughs> one guest, one person. Now, if you want one guest, we all know we need to invite at least two or three or confirm at least two or three. Do I not need to tell you all this, okay? Um, because I really want us to have a higher guest count here, okay? Um, put this in your calendar if you have not already, that on Monday, May 7th, that's the first Monday in May, we're going to have a huge product launch for your customers. They're going to get to try the new TimeWise 3D. Your customers will, Okay. So we are gonna blow it out of the water with guests on May 7th, right? Yeah. Right. And so I would contact everyone and say, oh my gosh, we have the new products coming and you get to try it. I want you to be on our test panel and to try it. We're gonna talk a lot next month about test panels. That's how you're gonna get in front of people and ask them for the opinion of for their opinion of the new product. Anybody that you facial this month, that's why I really want you to focus on doing your power start this month because you can earn the trip to seminar, right? You guys all remember that? This is the month that you make up. It's the makeup month for um, faces when you do um, when you do enough faces to do so. But I want you in front of faces this month and then you're gonna contact those people next, next month and um, have them be on your test panel. Does that make sense? It gives you a reason to get with them now and then next month as well, okay? Got it? 
Um, one other thing, I hope Jan is still okay doing this. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just want to make sure. So Jana is like the color pro. We love Jana. She is our color guru over here. And um, I see, hey, hey, accept it. You are, you are, you are, you know so much. When somebody compliments you, you have to take the video for it. Bring something in. I'm insulted. I'm sorry, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, but she is great at color. She really is. What do you say? Yes, she's great at color. She's going to do a contouring night this Friday night. So, yeah, like oh. she's con contouring, and then um, if I can get it together, I'm going to try. I wanna, when? when I yes. I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do lip bundles where I bundle together a. Um, a lip gloss and a matching lipstick and a sheer color like together that match so they can wear one individually or they can work them together with two different looks. I just have to make sure I got the samples. Do you use a brush? You can use a brush, but I would just, they're going to use you the samples so that you can So let's pack the house with guests because who does not want to learn about contouring? Like, and I would come just to learn yourself, but I would not come alone. I would, I would really try to get a guess here, okay? I want to make you guys come on this day, too. Yes, get people in front of her, okay? Get people in front of her. She's really good. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I need, I need to make you. <laughs> You're going to have your own guest. Jana's going to have her own guest. <laughs> She's going to have her own guest. Um, so I'd encourage you guys all to have a guest and be sure to RSVP. Uh, this Friday night at 6.30, they'll come learn the contour and highlighting. Is this contouring? Is this contouring? We'll just Everyone wants to do contour. contouring. 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 All right. Who doesn't want to learn about contouring? All right. 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 Okay. Um, the last couple of things is I just posted, uh, and you guys as units are more than welcome to participate um, in in this drawing. I'm giving away a thousand dollars cash. Did y'all see that? Y'all see that? Okay. Let me let me explain. Um, so we have. <laughs> Yeah, and you guys can get her too. You guys can get her too with your people. Yeah. When, when we hit the goal, that is the thing. Right. Because here's the deal is um, we are way behind on our goal of million. Like way, way, way behind. And we've got some catch-up work to do. And we've really got to make it up this like in April. And then so we can blow it out of the water in May and June. And so we need 30000 full sale more but in the next week to reach our goal and to stay on track for million. So what does that mean? That means every single order counts. Like we need orders, we need sales. I want you selling product. I want you moving product um, and, and making money. Just like our goal, when I throw out these promos for ordering, I don't want you just to order, order, order. I want you making money. And if you make an investment in inventory, that is an investment in your future that you're making money because that is money on your shelf, right? Um, so, Every single order um, of 100 or more gets an entry into the $1,000 cash drawing, okay? When we hit 30,000 more over the next week. Does that make sense? And really, all it would take is um, just, I mean, if, if just, uh, like, basically we need, let's see, I did the math, it's something like 20 bracelet winners and, um, like, 20 people ordering, like, a couple hundred. So really everyone just stretching that whatever your goal was to finish by the end of the month, stretch. Why not stretch? Why not call a few more customers, make a few more sales, and then get your orders in, okay? So it benefits you because you're going to get all the prizes I'm offering for ordering. But when we as a unit um, add 30,000 wholesale over the next week, and a lot of that will come with new and people moving up and going in charge of their cars and finishing DIQ and uh, directorship, if you have a huge goal, that's going to help bring that production. Okay, so it all works together. So thirty thousand more, I'm giving away a thousand dollars cash, and then when we hit that, we will have hit. We'll be at eight hundred thousand, so we'll be on track for a million at that point. Does that make sense? So yeah, why don't we talk about that? Because y'all get to come to all that too. So, well, you know, and it's still benefits so you know. us as directors, like at New Director Education, when they find out who our senior is, but. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's but, cool. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Thank you. We get spoiled rotten at seminar. We get front row seats. We get recognition. We get more custom paid. We get everybody in the world wants to talk to you. We get videotaped. We get 
lunch, you, I mean, you just get, 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 get. There's, I mean, it's, it would suck not to be a million dollar this year, but, you know? <laughs> and after that last year. Experience, yeah. So, and we got to go to million dollar retail this year. Yeah. <laughs> Others want to go next so year. So I was in the end, and it took out my hour, and I was going to turn around and get it. Um, so I didn't get experience with that fun stuff, although it hurt about the same time as the highest in the world. Um, but you pink purse there. That yeah. We got, we're we're all got, using. We got to go to Million Dollar Weekend because of your accomplishments. A unit accomplishments. A unit accomplishments. Um, one, don't you even have a lot of pride? Like, yeah. I, I was part of that. I got to help that. But we got cool, we got spoiled. Oh my goodness. Rot now. Mm -hmm. so, That's crazy. Well, I just think, too, that you're just bare minimum goal is not even just being a star consultant. That should be your bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Is 1800. Because that yeah. way you get a year into the first engine. First mm -hmm. engine. And you get a brace. Yeah. And so, like, that's my minimum goal. Yep. Every single month, I have to get a brace with because that's how I build a business. Yep. And so, and then when you make money, like, <laughs> make money. <laughs> exactly. No, exactly. No, it's so true. Money. So, now, being, being, yes. Um, so, being at a different search engine, that's really cool. I was at yeah. a meeting, some random person in town built my site. I made ninety-five dollars while I was here. That's and awesome. Because yeah, because you're in the search engine. Start and you put in the search for mm -hmm. that area. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So when you do it, when you yeah. meet your uh, color confidence and your skincare confidence, that bumps you up even higher. Mm -hmm. So like there might be yeah. twenty stars in your zip code, right? Mm -hmm. If you have those educations done and you have those badges, you come up the color field. Because they know your confident skincare and your confident skin oh, care. I don't know about you. When I see somebody, oh, they know what they're talking about. That's what I want to go with. Yeah. Absolutely. Why yeah. Don't they have that. I don't want to touch them. Mm -hmm. And it automatically will show up on your website if you do the color confident or the, what was the other one? And skincare. Skincare wrong. confident. Yeah, it'll automatically show up on your website. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yes, being a star is very important. You get free customers. I've gotten new team members. I got a new team yeah. member that one. Yeah, that they just contacted me online. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely works. Selena, our cute Selena. Um, I, anyway, she's been a couple weeks ago. She she found me on the website. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, be a star. Thank you yeah. for bringing that in. And that's what we need is we need we need a hundred stars to hit million. And um, yeah, and like they said, I want um, our unit to do million. So you guys can see when you become directors, if we can do it, you can do it because you've experienced it and that's why I want it. So I want you to think bigger for yourself because we are a million dollar unit that takes all of us together and there's so many perks. Yeah, the seminar, which by the way, registration opens very soon. I know I get to register today. So I'm but, um, I get to register early, but I don't know everyone else registers. But anyways, I pay for it and then I'll refund it. I'll give you a check. <laughs> so yeah. And um, anyway, so at seminar, yeah, we get front row seating. We have to walk across stage. They do a video of us. You get special luncheons, million dollar weekend, lots and lots of huge perks. Limo, but, two awards night. Yeah, yeah. 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 all of us are a limo. That's right. That's mm -hmm. that is awesome. I know. It's cool. Anyways, so, <laughs> so we're doing it, right? Right. Okay. And then tell you. Like, I have had quite a few team members decide because I let them know, like, we're in the number one unit in the nation. You know what I mean? That's exactly yeah. why I brought up. You know, and <laughs> so it just, in my mind, I'm not using it to brag. I'm just using it to show that we know what we're doing. And yeah. we're here to help you. Where you want to go? Yep. yep. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. $1,000 cash. We need yes. $30,000. So everyone just, we want everyone to stretch, you know, who else, who else can you sell to? Who else can you um, sign up? This is the time for us to grow and blow it out of the water. And let people know what your goal is. Let people know that you're doing it to get to a million. Because people want to support you for doing that. Let your customer know, thank you for helping us reach our goal of million. Keep in touch with them. Yeah. You can email them from your phone. Like today we are $2,000 closer to our goal of a million. Update yeah. them every two weeks maybe. Yeah. They'll get into it. They'll get into it. Cool. All right. The last announcement, and then we're, I will totally shut up and let them talk, is um, I want to remind you guys that this week is Administrative Assistant Week. And actually, it's all week long. Um, I posted some great ideas to get out there and meet people. 
Um, on the 25th is the actual administrative assistant day. But you guys can go out all week. There are administrative assistants everywhere. That I, I have my box of flowers over there. If you guys want to buy them before um, you leave, they are 10 cents each. So it's 80 cents a bundle. That's all in the honor system. I don't know. Pay Jana or just throw me in my purse. I don't care. That's all in the honor system. <laughs> um, I know. But the whole point is I want you out around people. I want you using this week to get out and go meet people. You know, there was a bunch of scripts I posted about contacting bosses, asking them if they have, you know, um, a, a gift for their employees. Um, just get out there and be around people. But I would highly recommend making sure that you are out and really utilizing this week. Okay? So I have to add that blurb. And now I think that is it. So... I think there's still spots open for that event that's going on this week too, right? There's got, it's pretty slow though. So yeah, it's not, yeah, okay. it, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're good. Yeah. Because yeah. I know, I, I almost forgot that. I always want more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but be yeah. sure to, yeah, if you're going to do that, bring gifts and flowers. So, yeah. All right. So with no further ado, we're going to need to hear from our two new directors. I just got back from new director education. <laughs> and I, I can't wait to hear from them. I didn't get to talk to either of them about their experience. So I'm excited to hear. But I, I just want you to know, in case you don't know what new director education is, like they obviously, y'all know the team director. They went to Dallas to learn how to be a director. And that was a big deal for me because when I, was becoming a director. I think some of you know my story. I had a horrible senior and I was so excited to go and learn how to be a director. <laughs> and, and it was so encouraging to me to know that there was going to be training. Um, that once you become a director, there is training, there is support. And um, yeah, pretty awesome. So take it away. Do you want, let's scoot over so okay. you can, um, I'm going to get behind you guys and, and Oh, I over. almost sat down in no chair. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you see it? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Hey. oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Like when we got there, what did we do? We checked in and then I had like huh. a mix of check in first. I know, because she was broken. Having <laughs> her this weekend <laughs> was like so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the front of every line. Yeah. Well, no, but I did go in front. So okay, there was four hundred and twenty-two brand new directors. Wow. We are the biggest class ever. Wow. In company history. In, in company, company history. Biggest class. So, so all these women are in line. You get their badges. It's like uh, the kids on the badges. Um, you get badges like that. And then you have to get your badge before you can go mix and mingle and get a room. Mm -hmm. we'll skip. Um, you have to skip all of it. Yeah, we got there early. I was like, you know, I need to get a room. You know? um, and they were like, oh, yeah, yeah you're good. Are you going to have more people to stay? Well, that's fine. We'll just do it for you guys because you guys are staying together. And then if you add more people, that's cool. Um, but so one line was just easy long. There were still 100 women in it. We waited a couple hours. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Um, but the line that was like M to Z had nobody in it. She walked right up, got her stuff. Oh, wow. And, and one of the ladies was like, I bet. I was like, Plus, I had a big old bag full of the, um, you know, we can recycle the eyeshadow yeah. pieces. Mm -hmm. So I took with me, and he's like, because I don't want to go to some of those bags. Mm -hmm. So I took the bag, and uh, so I, another lady was like, just go up there. She's like, what, what letter are you over? G. Just go look there. You should move the line. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then nobody got the letter of shit. Mm -hmm. um, so I waited and I was like, hey, you know, I know I'm just a little presumptuous. I'm just like, you can help me out because I'm kind of broken. <laughs> and, and they're like, oh, yeah, here, let me do your thing. Um, and then they, they didn't have a setup for the thing, but they took them anyways. Um, so that was really cool. Um, I, we got everyone wanted to help. Mm. Um, oh. <laughs> they all wanted to help. Everyone, okay, so everyone wanting to help was also very dangerous for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, um, so, okay, I don't know if any of you guys know me. I'm kind of stubborn. <laughs> well, <laughs> no way. So, after surgery, um, the post op was supposed to be later, but I was like, I'm going to Dallas. So, you know, like, okay, we want to see. So I went on Monday, a couple days after surgery, and they were like, hey, we're going to put you in a cast. And I was like, no, I don't have surgery. I don't want a cast. Splinted. And they're like, oh, no, no, that's not safe. Because they put plates and screws. And, uh, and so 
they're like, absolutely not. You have to go to the cat. Like, firm, firm cats. I walked out of there. Which, but planted deep inside my head, it made me understand that if you were to fall or anything happened, the boots aren't going to protect your hardware. And people have had it ripped out, and you can't always repair that. They have a lady right now who she had surgery on her knee still. She fell. She was adamant she got a boot. Oh. I mean, she, they said like one in a thousand people can talk to me. So, ah, that's uh, you. And so I did. And uh, she she's never going to be able to walk on that leg again. Oh. Because of that, she's been, so I'm thinking about this. It had a, it was an air cap, so you pump it up. Mm -hmm. The pump is right here. Huh. Well, actually, it's right here because it was much bigger. Um, where I put my knee, so I was already at an angle. <laughs> Which is a very good thing that I did mm -hmm. because even though I, I did great, you know, got around wonderfully, it was very crowded yeah. in certain areas of corporate. And um, I was trying to turn to get situated into the line and I lift this up and Scorpio's foot was there and she said, ow. Oh, and, oh, and, oh, and all these women rushed. Yeah. <laughs> And so I was oh. like, oh my, God. Yeah, my dude was just mm -hmm. okay. um, oh my and so God. there's glass doors, and I remember the glass doors being there. They were both open, and so it wasn't it wasn't where I thought it was, and so I started to fall on a lady. Let her not fall on her. Yes, better. <laughs> oh face down. On the floor. Oh. <laughs> so everybody's trying to rush in. Oh my gosh! <laughs> like I'm getting close to swinging because I'm like, <laughs> you're not helping. You're making it worse. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> at corporate, at corporate. Oh, no. I yell, like, everyone stop, back up. <laughs> I yelled. Yeah, really loud. She's like, back up. She has to do it herself. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they were like, <laughs> really, they were the reason I fell in the first place. I know. I heard ow, and so they like. I think 
like every person in the building actually <laughs> like, hey. that was growth right there i'm yeah. sure to have all those people <laughs> asking you for help <laughs> Wow, I love our company. They care that much about people, and they remember. Is that the president of the company remembers me? And you made an impression at Million Dollar Weekend. Uh, but she was blessed. What's going on? Like, They're all super nervous like, around him. Treatment. Yeah, it's cool. I remember it's a, That's it's, an advantage yeah. of Million Dollar Weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I know Nathan Moore. Yeah, so. Just want to help. You want to be part of that. It's easy to be a part of that. And I came in after she, you guys had already done it. Yeah, the benefits. That was cool. Spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, work, just working hard to get this get worth it. Yeah. It was, mm -hmm. um, so Kim Walker is a national. My dad know all these nationals. She was there. Oh my God. Her. Oh, she is no nonsense. She tells you. Just does call. not beat around the bush. So I'm like, yes. So it's no. okay. I can stay like this because people are trying to tell me I need to no. calm it down. No. 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 <laughs> no we do no, not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she mm -hmm. said, you know, she's in it. She is the wealthy Kim Walker when she introduces herself. And, you know, she's in it for the money and she does not. Not ashamed. Not ashamed of that part. You know no. what I mean? Like all the other stuff that comes along with it is great, but, you know, that's that was her main motivation. And she gave us an acronym CORE is. Are you poor, which is passing over opportunities regularly? Ooh. So yes. when you're out and about, write that down. That's and good. you don't, and you have your hair in a ponytail, <laughs> and you can't talk to that one woman. <coughs> yep, you are poor. You're passing over mm -hmm. that opportunity, and you're gonna stay poor. And you're gonna stay poor. Yep. Um, she was good. so we went upstairs to do the tour, and so she shared. You know, everybody shares a little bit about themselves. So she shared that her father. Had been murdered. She was a baby. She was She's like, three months old. She's three months old when her father was murdered. But when she lived in Detroit, she's mm -hmm. from the hood. That's where she met Gloria actually at a party, not a skincare party, <laughs> at a fraternity. <laughs> <party. laughs> um, but she, um, so she was upstairs when we went upstairs, and um, because she had mentioned that I wanted to talk to, you know, I was like, I, I want to ask her because I want to know is there anything I don't want to miss an opportunity to help my nieces. Mm. And so she, you know, she's been through the loss of father. So I was like, oh, I gotta get a hold of her. I gotta get a hold of her. And I was like, okay, can you get to her? And she was up there and she was like, run! <laughs> <laughs> she kept fast. She kept leaving me in the dust on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are you? I'm hurrying like, all the back. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, what the fuck? That was skills. You know, there's skills in there. So I got the camera and she held my hand mm. and she grabbed my hand and she held me close and talked to me. Nobody else, nobody else mattered. It was really amazing. Mm. Like 10 minutes. She said 10 minutes. Like, there was a line. She didn't care. She it was awesome. Uh, yeah. um, and, and so when she did that, it did really touch my heart. And you know, you always hear about Mary Kay and how she changed the thing in it. You know, and I was like, and we'll never experience that because we don't have Mary Kay, but we do. We are, we, mm -hmm. we have the opportunity to be Mary Kay and be that culture for them. Mm -hmm. Let them know that they're important. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that was. That's awesome. huge. Oh. She's great. <laughs> Nathan Moore was actually our first speaker, like opening day was Thursday. Um, and he just really hit on uh, the new Miracle set that's coming out um, and that he, as soon as it launches, his goal is for us to have sold a million sets before seminar. So he said, break the system. Yep, because they're going to have yeah. like a ticker going once it launches ah, and yeah. he's going to be on the road. So if we go on InTouch, there's like a map of yeah. all the places that Nathan Moore is going to show up at and um, cheer everybody on to sell these million sets by seminar. And so... Um, I'm sure they're going to offer some fabulous something or other for us when we get to seminar if we do sell so, a party or something. Or something. No, no that's just, company. just company wide. Company wide sell a million sets. Personally, he challenged the directors to sell a hundred. Oh, cool. Um, but uh, he just yeah. talked about the ownership of Mary Kay and the family legacy and mm -hmm. 
um, how lucky we are to be able to work for a company that is still family owned um, because that gives us all the benefits. Uh, we don't have to deal with the red tape of shareholders, shareholders and all of that stuff. Um, and the legacy, the employees that support us there, not just in Mary Kay corporate, but at manufacturing. Um, one of our sales development ladies, Ruby, her dad worked in manufacturing for 30 years and she works there now. And another one of the ladies in Ruby's, her dad worked there too. And so it's just like, it's an amazing company to work for, whether you're in the corporate manufacturing or as an independent contractor. Um, and it was just really cool. They wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for us. And so their love and their support for us is like, I, like, I can't even describe it when we, if you go to seminar, it shouldn't be if, it should be when. Mm, yes. You get to tour manufacturing and like the reception that they give us is, <coughs> it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So you can probably really share. Yes, it's pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, our first national that talked to us was Cindy Fox. She's pretty cool, man. She's, I don't know where she's from, but she's got an accent. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> Stop comparing yourself. Um, you can be a good copycat. When you first start out, you don't have to do it any other way. You know, don't think you have to reinvent the wheel, but you can be a good copycat. Um, the fear of rejection. This is huge, what she talked about. I thought this was so good. No, oh, no is a vitamin. The more you take it, the stronger you get. Ah, oh, that was like huge. Good. Oprah said that. That's good. She got that from Oprah, but I was like, oh, oh my God, yes, it's so true. Rejection is actually no, and I hate you. Like, but she, has anybody ever said that to you guys? No, no because I hate you. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's a no is usually no and something. It's not no and I hate you. So rejection is way <laughs> more negative than yeah. just a no. Okay. Yeah. Um, we just make it up like, oh, I told you, it's everything about me. So don't let no's write your paycheck. That's huge too. And Kim said about no's, she said there are four no's. You need to embrace no limits, no excuses, no stopping, no doubt. Yeah. And then she had to play this song Wait, called The Champion. Nope. So Wait, say this again. Okay, embrace the no's. No limits, no excuses, no stopping, and no doubt. What's that? No is like a vitamin. What now? No is like a vitamin. You get stronger when you take it every day. Yeah, the more you take it, the stronger you get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I mean, look at Oprah. She, she knows what she's talking about, right? Um, I guess I'll, I'll talk to, about this a little bit because this can be for anybody too. So, Cindy was so funny. <laughs> so, she talked about transition being uncomfortable. So, who's had a child? Okay. <laughs> Right. And so she talked about your dream, like it's like giving birth. Okay. And going through a transition can be super, super painful. And right before you give birth to your dream or your baby, like that is when you're in the most pain. That is when you want to quit. Right. Before the miracle actually happens. And be like, I'm, this, I'm not yeah. doing this anymore. Um, and so Put, push means pray until something happens. Ooh. And so one of the things she said about the, the labor is if you were to get up off the table right then, your baby's going to die. Right. Mm. Are you going to let your baby die? Mm -hmm. huh. Yep. And the right transition down, means you good. have not arrived yet. You're in the process of arriving. Mm. Like your dream is in the process of arriving and that's why it can be a lot, of, a lot uncomfortable and a lot painful. So... That was really good. Um, let's see. Mm. And you would think that they had all kinds of like secrets to tell mm. us, right? I'm gonna let you know that they just reiterated the things that we know and then enhanced it. But if there was no, there's still no secret. No secret. Nothing happens until you sell something, right? Mm -hmm. They said that over and over again. Oh, you're having a hard time? Book something. Mm -hmm. That was their answer to everything. Book something. Your husband mm -hmm. is being a jerk. Book something. Your kids wrote on your table with permanent marker. Go book something. Like you know, that's your like team member just quit. Go book, go something. book something. Get a new yeah. team member. Mm -hmm. So true. Yep. So um, who are you hanging out with? Was uh, something that 
Kim Walker talked a lot about with. So Kim Walker was recruited by Gloria Mayfield Banks, and she's the number one person national in the whole life. Like she has like over a hundred thousand consultants yeah. underneath her. Like it's insane. So she got yeah. to learn from a master, but um, who do you spend time with? Do they have a high level am of ambition? Do they believe in abundance? Um, are they overcomers? And do they have grit? You know, that's what you, and I, I don't know why that always rings so true with me. It's the five people you surround yourself with. It's who you're like. And so it doesn't have to be instantaneously that you change that in your life. But if you are focused and you have goals, then that is something you need to work for changing. And it's hard. It's a transition, you know, but I've slowly like weaned people. And sometimes they just go like, sometimes people are uncomfortable with success because it reminds them of why they're not and they can't stand it and they'd rather you know put you down so they take themselves out of the equation but you have to really focus on if you have a clear goal what is it and what are your priorities you know that was a lot too uh what kim talked about was um what's on your priority list and if you have a huge goal then there's things that you need to shift on your priority list um, she also mentioned that she has been left in the dust as a director mm -hmm. because she was only driving the first level car and her friend was pushing for a Cadillac. And then Sabrina Monday uh, went up to her at a meeting, they were at a meeting of some sort, and she said, because it was her recruit, the other director was mm. uh, Kim's recruit, and she said, it's going to be a damn shame when your recruit's in a Cadillac and you're not. And walked away. That motivation yeah. right there. <laughs> like, because like, even as a director, even though she was, you know, already a director of the company, her friend shook her because she was, she was content with being mediocre you know, at that point in time in her life. She was all right with just doing that. And so it's like, yeah, I'm moving on to bigger and better. Mm. So even, even the good ones, they love you less. You know? One of the cool things. Oh, this is more director stuff. No. <laughs> Um, let's see. Inspect what you expect. Like that was, you know, I even have that. Inspect what you expect. What are you expecting? Take a look at it. Why do you expect that? How are you going to get what, you know, how are you going to get what you expect? You know, because we can expect, oh, I see affirmations, so I'm going to be a Cadillac director. That seems to have, I mean, that word's powerful, but I have to actually look at actions. And you make take action to become your team. And so you have to look at what you expect. One is, are you expecting enough? Are you down here, or are you, you know, reaching for the stars? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, Kim Walker talked about earning your position. Um, only God gives promotions, and so like, if you feel like you're dragging people, trying to drag people with you, stop. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna work. Um, let's see. Cindy talked oh. about doing the six most important things list. Like that was like one of the first things that came around when mom and she started talking about that. And that's one of the basics, right? That we're supposed to learn when we first start. Six most important things. The night before, write down your six most important things. And she like stressed that. Like, it worked for Mary Kay. Yep. And if you don't get <laughs> one thing done, you move it over to the next day. If you don't get it done, you move it over to the next day. And by the time you get to the third day, if you haven't gotten it done and you're the procrastinating, that's the <laughs> yeah. first thing you have to do. And that's avoiding. the first thing you need to finish. Mm -hmm. So um, systems, having systems in place, just basically having a routine for your business is important. The six most important things list, this, this is the basics that she said. Um, make 10 attempts per day if you have a huge goal, 10 attempts per day. Um, a weekly plan sheet and your weekly accomplishments. Those are the just the basics um, systems, and then you'll grow more. They work, there. like but they, they work. work, like they've been around. Like these aren't rewritten. They haven't rewritten the wheel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they haven't reinvented, yeah. reinvented the wheel. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've waited for that to where they are doing the things that Mary Kay taught them to do. Right, Six, so. and they were taught by Mary Kay. Like they were taught by Mary Kay Ash. So um, I see kiss at the top of your page. Tell me yes, what that means. Kiss means keep it simple, sweetie. Yeah. And so in talking about these systems, these are the simplest things that you can do. Six most important things, 10 attempts per day, weekly plan sheet, over over again. 
weekly accomplishment sheet and the 21 day booking challenge. But I don't know if you guys know about that yet, but we'll talk about it. But I think people overcomplicate this business. Mm -hmm. And so keeping it simple is so important. Do the simple, simple things, um, but they'll get you where you want to go. So yep. like we said, there's no secrets. <laughs> And Kim Offer said, don't look like what you've been through. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> you don't have to look like what you've been through. Yep. <laughs> she doesn't beat around the bush at all. She doesn't have to. She is the wealthy Kim Walker. <laughs> um, let's see. And these cool little books that gave us, gave us well, to be able to write all of our notes. And I won something. They drew my name. And I got this really cool planner. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I got a $25 gift card to Office Depot. Oh, like some pens and stuff like that. So that was super neat. Wow. Okay. That's cool. They're always giving my prizes. Did you bring a picture to the portable? No, they were in your basket. Well, no, oh, I put them in your planner. Oh, you did them in this video. What photo booth? I got a photo booth. Oh, oh here we go. go. Here we pass this over here. But yes, they had a photo booth for our graduation, which was cool. We had cake and music and dancing, and they, everybody got to walk down the runway. And wow, yeah, I did not. Cool. And so here, here's another cool thing. So I didn't walk uh, as soon as they were like, "You're gonna go across the stage." I was like, "No, you have to go up the stairs, across the stage, and then down the stairs." I was like, "I could do it, but there's 428 women <laughs> watching line." Right. <laughs> I was like, over. right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. uh, so I went and told them, I was like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. And so I just got my certificate and put it in my basket. And I was like, when everybody else is done, I'll go hop up on the stage. So it would look legit, right? <laughs> so they had red carpet out for everyone to walk down. Um, and I ladies come up to me, Christina, I didn't see you go across the stage. I was waiting. I was waiting <laughs> to, try to see you. Run you over. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no. I was, I'm, not a good idea. No, I really have to. Okay. But the fact that people, you know, I, we just met these ladies and they were like, hey, you got to do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and there were so many, there were so many cool people there. Like, didn't even matter if you didn't speak the same language as. I know, because we had Mexico, Canada, and Canada, and they had little wow. weird translators. Oh, and then we had. Um, Karen Piero came, and she's a national sales director emeritus. She's retired, um, but she looks like she's 25 years old. Oh my God, she did. I was like, what do you, what? No, that's not who they were. They said uh -huh. emeritus was coming, but that can't be her. Yeah, Mary Kay works. It works. Well, and she just talked about Mary Kay as a person, and in, in, she has 13, there were 13 something. 13 legacy legends Mary Kay left us. Yes, and the first one was being faith-filled, so Mary Kay herself was faith filled and she left behind a faith filled company and faith filled women who were passing it on. Um, she was courageous. I mean, her husband died. She started this business with her last $5,000. Mm -hmm. And look at all the women's lives she's touched. It even says in corporate, one of the quotes is, we started out to change a couple lives and ended up changing the world or something mm. like that. Really cool. um, she was generous, uh, positive, disciplined. She was part of the 5 a.m. club. She always said that if you wake up at 5 a.m., you add an extra day to your work day. Your work week. Your work week. Yeah. You add an extra day to your work week. Oh. So, um, she would use, she used to uh, get up and do work, and then she would get back in bed and wake her husband up because he liked to wake up with her. So she would be up at 5, do some work, and then go wake him up at 7. In bed. In bed, yeah. <laughs> um, she was super family focused. Um, her family and the family of her consultants. That's why she created a faith first, family second, career third business. Um, relationships, she um, just epitomized like kindness and, and everyone was important. And she spent many years just, she would handwrite thank you notes and mail them out until she couldn't write anymore, you know? And, she would always send personalized notes. Um, she did have high expectations, but I mean, look where it's gotten people yeah. having those high expectations. Like they have choices in their lives now. And um, what you should do is you should go on InTouch and read about all your NSDs under resources. 
and it tells you where they came from. Like this lady started out cleaning offices and hotels, and this lady was started out three jobs. Yeah, and now she has paid off five houses with cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and that she came from Cuba. Yeah. Wait, who is that? Uh, Marie, I wrote down Maria something or other. She was. Uh, <laughs> they kept calling her Auntie Auntie Maria mm -hmm. um, because she. We didn't get a lot of her time because they took her for the Spanish. Oh, yeah, she was speaking Spanish. She was speaking Spanish. But she, but she, Mar uh, Mary Estefan. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's from Cuba. And she was. Yeah, she was pretty cool. And she, she kind of got upset a little bit because she's like she wanted to speak in English too. She wanted and to share with them. Spanish. So, uh, Mary Kay was made of steel and velvet, which is kind of self-explanatory. She was an incredible teacher, and she was humorous. And they talked about how, like, because she used to have new directors go to her house, mm -hmm. and she'd make them cookies and lemonade, and they got to sit with her. But she had to play her piano, and she'd be sitting there pretending to play it when everybody was walking in. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, yeah. <What>? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then they talked too about the Mary Kay Foundation. I don't know if you guys know much about it, about but it. so the Mary Kay Foundation every year it's set up to help end domestic violence and cure cancers that affect women. So every year Mary Kay gives three million dollars in grants um, with no strings attached. Like a lot of times when you get a grant, you tell them specifically what you want it to go for, but these grants are no strings attached. So the domestic violence shelters get these grants and can use it for whatever they need. Keeping on the lights, paying their rent. Yeah, um, and they so they give three million dollars a year, including Tessa, which is here in the Springs. Is they receive a grant, um, and they give one million dollars a year to cancer research. And it was cool. There was like doctors um, talking about how you know expensive it is to get money for research, and they appreciate you know what the Mary Kay Foundation does. So um, that was pretty cool to learn about. You can be an ambassador. You know. Yep. That's the thing. Um, what else? How about, um, so the song? I'm so sad. I, I tried to uh, do Facebook Live of um, Inner Circle National, uh, Ma Maya, is it Maya? No, uh, Mia, 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 Mia yeah. Porter. Mia Porter, something. Oh, yeah, well, you should. She's a big deal. Mia Porter. And I think that's her name, Juan Alice. Not Leah Carter, right? No, no, no. It, she was a. Um, write it down. I had to, I was going on my pages. All I have down is the song. She wrote a song called She Shift. writes whole CD. Yeah, she writes that's lyrics. Right. A shift. So was she, was, yeah. she she was, was she there? She was there. She came by. She was a surprise she, national. She had some personal team members or personal directors out screening for line directors. So she flew in because she's got that kind of throw away go. She <laughs> yeah. flew in just to surprise them. None of them knew. And we were all inside, and she texts them, hey, you have a surprise waiting in the lobby. Which ah. is when they were handing out keychains, but I, I didn't know that. I waited inside. And so she was outside hiding on Facebook Live. But she ah. could record them and surprise them. She yes. just came for a few hours of that day to be there for her girls and then mm -hmm. get some time for us. Yeah. But she, uh, so her story's a little crazy. She yeah. was she went on the national sales director trip. They get one every year and they went to Italy and then a couple she had had really bad headaches. And a couple days after she got back, she had a headache worse than she'd ever had before. She started throwing up, but of course she didn't go to the doctor, who does? Uh -huh. Um and she just progressively felt more poor and worse and worse until um she was laying in bed and her husband came home and she was talking to him. He's like, What's wrong with your eye? And her eye had gone from right here over to here. It was cockeyed. Mm. And so she, uh, they took her to the emergency room um, the next day. She didn't even go that night. She went the next mm -hmm. day. They did an MRI and a CAT scan, and they're like, we don't see anything wrong with you. So she was getting dressed, and then her doctor came in and was like, okay, I sent your scan to a friend of mine, and he sees an aneurysm. So you need to get undressed, mm -hmm. and we're putting you in an ambulance. And so they took her, and we said, she had to choose between either getting her brain cut open and doing something with the aneurysm or they put like a coil into her <gasps> vein. And so she chose both the coil. Major. Yes. Both of them have a, there's only a 0 0.3 difference in death. Oh, so, wow. yeah. um, but she got the coil and uh, 
she so she wore a patch because so her eye didn't go back so she had to wear a patch at seminar and she wasn't sure what she was like stressed out and she was like sitting in her bed talking to her husband and she was like she was like i was rubbing his bald head and she just remembers it and all of a sudden they were talking about what she was going to do at seminar and all of a sudden her eye went Bloop. she was stressed out about it she didn't want to have to wear a patch and even when she planned to wear a patch and they kept praying about it she said it went Right back. Back. I went right back wow. and now she's all better but she uh -huh. has like little times where she forgets stuff and she's like I just blame it on the coil yeah. <laughs> wow. but it was just really powerful she said because her Mary Kay sisters were all there for her she had Mary Kay sisters in the room with her and Mary Kay sisters praying for her and um she just was talking about the power of the sisterhood you know so uh it is a pretty powerful thing and so her song for for shift it was she has it figured out totally. And she has a CD. Like, I guess she writes a lot of music. She sings, she raps. It's pretty cool. I've tried to record it. And yeah, and they like, she, they played her song and she stood on stage and sung it for us. She it was raps. really cool. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> she <laughs> has it figured out totally. That was cool. Like Mia for her? Or Mia, Mia. Mia. Like Mia. him, with like Mama. Okay. Yep. So that was cool. What else? Uh, I don't know. Do you guys have questions? You guys know you can follow all these nationals. Like they all have Facebook pages and stuff. So getting to know your nationals is pretty cool and seeing where they're where they come from. Um, it was funny. So they did a panel session. So you know the directors were able to write questions down and they answered them. And we were able to answer ask questions in advance. We were able to text them in. And it was it kills me some of the questions that people ask. But it just lets you know that like no question is a dumb question. <laughs> and, uh, and that even, I mean, these ladies are directors, you know, driving cars and you know, stuff, and they're still asking some of the basic questions. They just, you know, kind of picked it up on their way. And so it's good to know, like, there's a lot, there's a lot of things I don't know. Like, doing MKU blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody was kind of like, oh, I didn't know all this. I'm just going to take the test. But there was some stuff, like, for the red jacket and the director. Their DIQ, I didn't know half the stuff. Like, I tried to just take the test because I wanted to go <laughs> because I wanted the badge. And so I tried to just, I'm like, oh, I don't know that. Um, I don't know that. So I had to go back and like learn it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. And so it, it, was, it was refreshing to see that I wasn't just like, this is a <laughs> Yes, it was. We're all in transition, we're all maybe brand new. Yeah. One thing cool that um, Kim said was that um, there's no first place in Mary Kay, really. Mm -hmm. Mary Kay gives everyone the prize. There's, and you know exactly what you need to do to get it, and everyone can win it. You know, it's not like there's one national sales director position. It's not like there's one sales director position. It's not like there's one pink Cadillac. It's available to everyone. Um, and I thought that was that was pretty cool. There's no reason to think because you don't make it this one time that the position is going away. It is still there waiting for you. Yeah. yeah. I thought that um, was great. And Kim said, when you're blessed, you've been blessed to be a blessing. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and that it's our responsibility to pass a blessing on. You know, and I feel that we've all been blessed. And I want to bless other people. But sometimes I get in my head, like, you know, well, I'm broken. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> Oh, this is horrible. I need to do 100 cases this month. And what am I going to do? I'm not, I'm not, and then I'm like, um, so I took the five minutes, you know, but I did, I went through it. Um, and, and hearing that again, having it reiterated that it's my responsibility. Like, I was given this opportunity. I have to share it. I have to share it. One of the national says you should share the opportunity with everyone. Everyone, don't prejudge them. But you know, which we've done over a lot lately. Like, had I been judged to a standard like, does she do this? Does she have this? Does she have that? I would have. I wouldn't be here right now. I have gone to sleep now. Uh, you know, I'm raising six kids. I work construction. Like nobody would have been like, hey, you know, how many people have asked me if I wanted a facial in my whole life. 
And th so one booth has asked me, and I, that was my first recruiter when I signed up, and she didn't ask me. My mom went racing with her because I was looking for a married recruiter. My mom ran over there and was like, my daughter needs you. She was like, oh, okay, <laughs> all right. But nobody has ever asked me. Not at the store, not anywhere. How many times have you been asked by a married recruiter lady? Has a married recruiter lady tried to flush you? Why? 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 that's the best so part. I want to share about that actually, touching on that. I actually had my first person and I facialed and didn't talk the business opportunity. Signed up under somebody, somebody else. Oh! oh. I found out a couple days ago because I was checking on her and her products because we spent like $200 with my boyfriend's cousin. And we had, I mean, and I had talked to her about it. I was like, yeah, like you get that off, blah, blah, blah. And she knew all about the business opportunity, but she ended up signing up under her friend but it just drove me crazy because her friend doesn't do anything with the business. She right. just gives me a discount. And I'm like, she signed up under someone who doesn't want the business and I couldn't do the deal. I know. Dang it. Dang it. And so it's, it's really frustrating. And like another thing too, about what you were saying earlier about like, uh, having those down days where you're just down and out. Like last week, I don't know what it was, but I hated everything about my life for like a, a full day. I hated my life about everything this full day. I wanted to quit. I was over it. I just, I, I couldn't handle it. And actually, I had a therapist appointment that day, and she helped me out a lot. And then I went home to my my boyfriend, and I was like, you know what? I almost thought about it. Mm -hmm. Like, I really almost did. Like, I, I've almost made my money back to what I bought into, but I really almost did. I almost thought about giving up, and I snapped out of it quickly, but, mm -hmm. oh gosh, it's, yeah, I mean, it's after, hard. After I know, $600 just, a week. Sometimes you just have a really bad day. No, I you just have to realize that you just keep going. I, I had a six hundred dollar week with four people, right. four sales. I, I didn't work that hard last week at Mary Kay because I was in my head. I had crap going on. I have a wedding to plan now. I just got a third job. Like life is crazy, but you just, you just gotta make, make it work. work. Right. You just do it. <laughs> but, no, I mean it happens to the best of us. I, mm -hmm. This month has been rough. Mm -hmm. You know. And everyone's like, do you need anything? I'm like, no, just leave me alone. I just want my leg back. <laughs> I just want to be able to walk and not need anybody. But that's, yeah, that's the lesson that I'm learning. Mm -hmm. The lesson is that, uh, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> the worst thing that's been for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, people try to tell me that God was telling me to slow down. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't like to do that. Uh, no, that upset me a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. But. When he, it was definitely a lot of lessons in this one. There were many directors. So there was more than 428 directors who should have been there. Yeah. A lot of them didn't come because they were pregnant and they didn't want to be uncomfortable or inconvenienced. And then there were women out there being ready to pop. Nine minutes minute. pregnant, ready to have a baby any minute. Uh, but uh, when they come, it's like, I'm pregnant, broken leg, twisted ankle. You know how many pictures people took of me? I don't even, I don't even <laughs> I know. know who they are. Probably all ever. I gotta send this to my girl who didn't come. Yeah. So she's. Come on. Ah, she must not want to go bed. She must not want to go bed. You know, I yeah. hope she's feeling better. But they, 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 right. they, I was going hell and high water. There was nothing stopping me. The doctors didn't tell me no because they wanted to. I should go. <laughs> Um, but when they were scheduling the surgery, I was like, here's the deal. I'm leaving on this Wednesday to Dallas. I will be gone for a week. Surgery can be before or after. But I'm going. And, and it's all about prioritizing Mary Kay. God, family, Mary Kay. And even when we have our down days, this is my therapy. If you guys don't know, this is my therapy. Even when we're on days like today, I didn't want to come. I did not want to come. I was tired. I didn't want to do this. Um, my parent, family's mad at me because I've been gone forever. Oh yeah, my kids are like, "Do you have to go? You just came back from my family. Why don't you do America again? I have, I have to do this. <laughs> Monday. There's no ifs yeah. or buts. I have to go. I have to be there because I get stuff from me and you. I think I'm more. Okay.
<laughs> and then, as, as I was like, she's like, it's Caitlin. Caitlin's leaving us. I was like, oh, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like goodbye. It isn't goodbye though. It's just it's just see you later. See you soon. See you soon. Just come to seminar. Yeah. Yep. But we need each other. I need you guys. I know. I'm, I'm, I need you to start walking so we can go back out again. Oh no, I'm going out. I'm going out this week. I've been it's administrative I've, professional week. You gotta go out. Yeah, I'm not thrilled. Um, because I need new people, and like so immediately after surgery, I thought I was gonna be back to go getting out and around. Say like, right before surgery, I, I can lift this up. I put it in the van by myself, and I drive the first week and a half. Sonia took the van and would let me drive, then, which was frustrating too. But now I have the vehicle and I am fully capable of being run all by myself. Yep, she and and Dallas. Nobody's going to tell me no. Exactly. Everybody wants to help me. Right. I'm handicapped, right? <laughs> Everybody wants to help me. Um, I got a page for my doctor's bill. Yeah, nobody's going to tell me no, though, because everyone's like, oh, oh. That's what I was going to tell you guys. They challenged us to get 14 definitive no's in a row. It is absolutely impossible to get, I think even Nathan Moore was the one who said it. He was the president of the North American Do you know Bay. that when Triple Mass firms came out, he was either doing the HSC with Mary Kate family <laughs> to, to the like, board meeting or whatever it is, and he had them do Triple Mass, but he was even Nathan Moore. He's doing a facial party on his tour. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. And so if he can do it, yeah, it says be doing it. 14, <laughs> 14 definitive consecutive no's. It's impossible. So prove me wrong. That's your challenge. Get 14 no's in a row. About what? For a beauty no's. experience. Okay. 14 okay. no's. Or a fine dash. Definitive means, means no. Never. I do not want to try Mary Kay. No, no. It's not right now. It's like no. No. Talk to me. Yeah. No. No. I hate you. Like right. that. No. 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 Just, no. I do not want to try Mary Kay. No. I do not want to go to have a coffee career talk. That's a definitive no. <coughs> I wanted to. Fourteen in a row. That board thing that you guys talked about. I, I came in last week because we stopped for coffee and I made a sale off the coffee guy. A young little twenty-year-old skater guy. Who uses Mary Kay and was like, I need a Mary Kay lady, and I saved him like thirty dollars for two bottles of cologne that he used to spend more on the internet. Mm -hmm. So don't ever think that there's a, not. I mean, and you that that people every time I don't want to talk to somebody, I'm going to say I'm not poor. No mo. I'm, I'm not poor. No, no mo. Yes. And there were men directors. There was. Four, oh my God, they were men fabulous. That I see. Like yep. too much. They have like a cool little vest that they wear, and they were great. Like oh, yeah. four men directors. Yeah. They do. Yep. Sure do. They, they don't have, have a suit jacket, but they have the. They have the vest. vest. You don't have a dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, they look good the way they were. Oh yeah. Yep. So that was, that was, cool. that was really cool. So yes, men can do this too. Like. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you guys ready to power it up? Pow um, powering statement. <laughs> I was like doing the thing in my head. Okay. And I'm very jealous of everybody. I know. She had shoe in me the whole time. Oh my god. Like, look at those shoes. Look at those shoes. Look at those shoes. Look at those shoes. They were amazing shoes. Weren't a pair of shoes what got you in that? Yes. Shoes and she even saw that showed me the shoes. Yes. I was like, don't go for that. She's wearing them. Okay. Oh, lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. I am great. I am great. I am wonderful. I am wonderful. I am a woman of excellence. I am a woman of excellence. I am a superstar. I am a superstar. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will let nobody push my buttons. I will let nobody push my buttons. I will let nobody ring on my parade. I will let nobody ring on my parade. I will go over. I 
Thank <laughs> you. 